Coming up on First at Four on this final day before the election, Kentucky's candidates for governor campaign across the state for one last push for votes. And former President Trump takes the stand in a New York City courtroom where he's accused of questionable accounting practices. Plus, fire danger will continue through midweek as our streak of dry weather also sticks around. That forecast on the way as Mountain News First at Four starts now. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News First at Four. Good afternoon, I'm Steve Hensley. First at Four, we're just one day away from Election Day, and Governor Andy Bashir and Attorney General Daniel Cameron have spent the day campaigning across the Commonwealth. Governor Bashir started his day in the Big Sandy region. Bashir and Lieutenant Governor Jacqueline Coleman brought their re-election rally to Pikeville's Main Street, vying for votes ahead of Election Day tomorrow. Oh, you got to earn it. Listen, these jobs aren't given. You get out there, you bust your butt, you talk to every voter you can, and we've got a good story to tell, one of results for this community and every other one. But I hustled this hard as governor, too, knowing every day is special, every day is an opportunity to improve somebody's life. The governor says turnout tomorrow could define the future. Governor Bashir said he is hopeful about tomorrow's outcome based on his supporters and the work he has done during his term as governor. Meanwhile, Kentucky Attorney General Daniel Cameron was not in eastern Kentucky today, but had stops across other parts of the state. One of them was in Fort Wright in northern Kentucky. Cameron says he just wrapped up a six day bus tour across the state. Of course, he was in Eastern Kentucky a, a few times last week. He says he's grateful to serve as the Republican Party nominee and reiterated his endorsement and support of the Fraternal Order of Police. He believes the state is ready to welcome new leadership and wants to take the Commonwealth in a different direction. Recent polls show this could be a very close race. So stay tuned. Of course, we'll have all the coverage here tomorrow night. And with Election Day upon us in Kentucky, what are some do's and don'ts? What may be against the law and how do you report problems? There are statewide rules giving folks the ability to feel more comfortable while voting and strengthening election integrity. Secretary of State Michael Adams says if you see something you think uh, is not right, say something to help keep the elections fair. He says reports of misconduct will go to the proper authorities. Uh, those uh, reports are shared with me, the Secretary of State, and the State Board of Elections and the State Police. And so uh, these, are, these are things that we all work together to ensure uh, we have election integrity. Now you can call 1-800-328-VOTE to report any election complaints. Adam says a candidate has the right to sue another if something wrong contributed to the election's outcome. We'll have more on election laws and how to file a complaint tonight at 6. Well, we are tracking some dry and mild weather across the mountains, but also watching out for some wildfires as well. Here is a live look from the WYMT studio. We are pointing south towards downtown Hazard, and you can see some hazy skies as a wildfire is not too far away from this location. And we have fires across the region at this hour, so that's not good news as we are tracking more dry weather, also more mild weather to continue as we kick off your work week. Temperatures right now well above average in the upper 60s and lower 70s, up to 75 and Somerset, also Manchester, 71 for Jackson and 73 over in London. We should be in the lower 60s, so we are well above average on this Monday. Up on Pinpoint Doppler, a clean sweep does continue as high pressure continues to sit off the eastern coast, so that means more dry weather is on the way tonight but also into your Tuesday and Wednesday, a small chance on Tuesday of a stray shower, but again, most of us are dry. Those higher rain chances are looming though for Thursday, also Friday, all thanks to a cold front. Those details coming up in just a few minutes. Steve? Cameron, thank you. Former president and 2024 GOP presidential frontrunner Donald Trump testified under oath today at his high profile civil trial in New York City. He's accused of using questionable accounting practices to inflate the value of his properties. New York's Attorney General is seeking $250 million in fines and restrictions that would prevent the Trump Organization from doing business in their home state. At the end of the day, the only thing that matters 
are the facts and the numbers. And numbers, my friends, don't lie. Trump's daughter Ivanka, who is not a defendant in the case, is expected to take the stand Wednesday. The judge has fined the former president twice already for violating a limited gag order. We'll have more about this tonight at 530 and later on the CBS Evening News. But coming up here on First and Four, Pope Francis skipped a reading uh, today due to a cold. Why that decision is sparking concerns about the pontiff's health. Plus, we are tracking some beneficial rain chances later this week. Those details coming up after this break.